Hi there, hi there, my name is Paul Harvey and this is a Market That video. So, oh, moving the camera. Today I want to tell you about, um, well, talk about a webinar I went to last week. It was interesting because it was with a guy called Lucas Remshek and he is a, a, probably what could be called a top flight copywriter, works with some of the big people in the US. And he, um, He's clearly trained with people like Dan Kennedy and like John Carlton, some of the other big copywriters of the last century, some people who really were at the top of their game, excuse me. <clears throat> I mean, a few of these videos today and I'm getting a bit parched over it. Um, what was interesting about this video and why, why I'm talking about it today is because it covered the concept of direct marketing. It was talking about copy for direct marketing. Now, the direct marketer has a real challenge because they are creating a piece of written material which will be sent to someone. And in order to do that, they have to make sure they clearly understand who it's going to because there's absolutely no point in sending a piece of you know, a piece of material or you know, a, a mailing package about hearing aids to someone in their 20s. You know, I know granddad might need one, but certainly the 20 year old is not going to buy it for granddad. So those kind of disciplines that they use, and it's all based on research and clearly understanding what their market needs or wants. If we could apply those disciplines to your business on a daily basis or certainly on a basis where you are clearly targeting the right people it will change how your business is perceived and it will really will you know make you or make your business more attractive to those ideal clients what is interesting about this it's not just a demographic it's not just about an age or a gender it's also about what these people love what these people hate. You know, what is their primal fear? What is their passion? You know, talking to um, young football fans about their team can't go wrong. Talking to young women or, or women about fashion can't go wrong. You know, these sort of things fit that group of people. And if you kind of work with it in terms of uh, research the group further, you can narrow that down. So that's a really important aspect if you can bring that into your business is defining who is your ideal prospect for your business. The other thing that was interesting, and I'm gonna grab some notes for this because it was, I want to get it right. Now that, it was this process about market awareness. And I've talked about market awareness before and I use it in terms of the sales journey. In some of my previous videos, we've talked about this idea of you know, not wanting to buy a car or not needing a car to the point of buying a car. And there's that journey, that process you get to towards the actual purchase of a car. And what Lucas has done, and I guess it's probably you know, some material that he's presenting from someone else, so I, I don't no problem with sharing this. He's kind of put it into five layers. <clears throat> and that's quite useful, I think, because you can actually put specific traits to those layers. So the first layer is the people that are fully aware of who you are, what you do and what you offer. And they are your core audience. Now, you are my core audience. You're people that are, you know, see me about, you're on my email lists. You probably are Facebook friends of mine and maybe even LinkedIn friends of mine. So you are more my core audience in terms of that you know what I do. And you're not necessarily a customer of mine, but certainly if you were in the need for something or in the need for what I offer, I, I would certainly be someone who you would be considering. The next level down are level two, and they are aware. So they are actively seeking a solution to the problem they have. They're aware of their problem, but they're not necessarily aware of me or you or our businesses provides the solution, but they are looking for a solution. So those are your people who will, they are your first level of cold contact. So, you know, they'll be discovering you for the first time, but because they are solution aware, uh, problem aware, and, you know, actively seeking a solution, they will be in the market 
for talking to you about using your service. The next tier down, these people are problem aware. Now, they're problem aware, you know, they're overweight. I look in the mirror every morning, I'm overweight. But they're not actively seeking a solution for it because at the moment it doesn't bother them enough to deal with it. You know, so that's a distinction in terms of that level of the marketplace. Now, if you were trying to attract those people, you have to agitate the problem. Yeah, so are your clothes too tight for you? Do you get out of breath when climbing stairs? You know, I know these are not nice subjects perhaps, but you know, th those are the ways that you get the attention of someone who is problem aware, but not actively seeking a solution. And then you go down the tree and then the last, you know, four and five, you know, four, five is desire. So, you know, I, I think I've got a problem, but I'm not really sure. You know, and it would be nice to lose some weight, but I'm not really sure about it. And it's not really bothering me anyway. So there's a desire, a slight desire, you know, but not an active solution, not an active awareness or an active solution to solve anything about it. And the final group of people are not aware at all. They're completely unaware that there is any issue and you have absolutely no chance of selling anything to that group of people until they become aware of the problem. So those are the five levels. I will probably make a graphic of that at some stage so you can have a look at that graphic. But I thought it might be worth, look, might be worth sharing with you because it's just useful to think about your marketplace in those kind of terms because if you're creating an advert for anything you know you will need to decide at which level the advert will be placed in the marketplace anyway this has been a market that video and i want to thank you for watching